Let's get the nails! Oh no! Y'all act like you never seen a white person before with jaws all on the floor like Pammy and Tommy like Tammy like Pam like Tommy and like Pammy and Tommy just burst in the door and he started whooping the worst of before just cursing her so in the over furniture it's the return of the all oh, way no way you're kidding he didn't just say what I think he did did he and Dr. Dre said nothing you idiots Dr. Dre's dead he's locked in my basement feminist women love him and then Slim Shady, oh, look at him, mm -mm -mm. walking around, rubbing his you-know-what, flipping the you-know-who, yeah, but he's so cute, though, yeah, I probably got a couple of screws up in my head loose, but no worse than what's going on in your parents' bedroom, sometimes I want to get on TV and just let loose, but I can't, but it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose, my bum is on your lips, my bum is on your lips, and if I'm lucky, you might just give it a little kiss, and that's the message that we delivered to little kids, and expect them not to know what the woman of course they're gonna know what in the about them to hit fourth grade and get the discovery channel, don't they? We ain't the um, mammals. Well, some of us cannibals and eat the people looking like candles. Come on now! Huh? You gotta do the whole thing once you start. You feel me? I messed up a couple parts here. What's good, ladies and gentlemen, the SJ Nation? Listen, I'm dropping three videos today. And you know why? Because tomorrow. I am, it's a big day for this channel, it's a big day for me, it's a big day for the SJ Nation. I'm dropping my third single of the year, Fire, with my boy Mercury. You did. So, you know, after I drop uh, a song, I don't be dropping videos for a while. So, I gotta give y'all these to, to chill on. Now, haven't done an ERB for a little second, haven't done an ERB all month. So, I decided to do this one. Now, I know a lot of y'all been asking me to do some specific ones, and there's a specific reason. I am waiting to do some of the more highly requested ones, but I cannot tell y'all right now. Just chill, playboy. All will be revealed. You feel me? All will be revealed. Genghis Khan versus the Easter Bunny. Ladies and gentlemen of the ERB community and the SJ Nation and of the YouTube community at large, <clears throat> it is the Schmidt White of the ERB. Shout out to Smack White. Shout out to y'all. Hear Loaded Lux's diss track? Yo, after this video, go type in Loaded Lux diss track because I'll be trying to get y'all on battle rap. Stop playing like y'all like this. Go type in Loaded Lux diss track and listen to that. That God, bruh. My bad, but back to what we was talking about. It's the Schmidt and he's dissing. By the way, other battle rappers that dissing. Schmidt White of ERB. <clears throat> Let's get it. Sorry for the long intro. We here. It's the greatest ERB reactions on the internet. There's very, there's a lot of people do it, but you can't copy respect. <laughs> Sorry for the long intro, but you know what time it is. Let's go. Shout out to my boy, Epic. Enough. See now, here's one thing. I don't know why they chose these people. I'm not quite sure. Oh, and by the way, I will be going back once I've done all the ERBs. I decided once I've done every ERB, I will go back and do full breakdowns of certain ERBs that y'all want me to do. Because um, some of them, I feel like, especially the earlier ones, uh, I could break down a, a bit better. Because most of the time, I just be watching. Uh, not just watch, I break down real well. But I could break them down even further. With all the references and stuff. But let's get it. Whoa there. EB. You came out the gate with the. First of all, I invented hip hop and okay. Little play on words, rabbit, hippity hot, okay, whatever, I feel you. You went straight for the R word. Okay. All right. He's not lying. Um, so Easter Bunny, don't get confused by the pink hair. He coming for the smile. Hey, he, he coming for the smile. Not quite a uh, not quite a, a Don DeMarco, but uh, now I kind of guess maybe they picked the nicest thing in the world versus the most evil person they could think of. I don't know. You ugly rapist, wearing barbarian. Ooh, what you gonna do? You got a bucket on your head and a full man too. The great. Don't Google that. If you don't know what it is, just don't Google it. It's cool. Yo, the Easter Bunny kind of coming spicy. The Easter Bunny kind of kind of coming vulgar. I didn't know the Easter Bunny was gonna come like this. Yeah, he come. He low key has came a little bit more spicy than some other people I thought would have came spicier. 
we just okay. And then I'm full man too. Okay. The Great Wall couldn't keep you out of China. Watch me run my book for luck and stick it right up your vagina. <laughs> All right, that was an all right verse. You know, r- l- rub the luck. R- uh, l- why can't I say things? Rub the lucky rabbit's foot. Say that five times fast. But, uh, okay, I get that. Stick it up here. Okay, cool. Got that. It was a lot of, you know, potty humor type stuff. A lot of, like, uh, j- joke. But they wasn't quite connecting with the lyrical side. You know what I mean? You did throw some accusations out there, so... Genghis, he might not even have to. Yo, you know what Calico said when it's really ain't got a rhyme? Yeah, you might be in trouble. China. <laughs> Come on, you the ass about to feel a wrath of cars. Ooh, out the gate with the. Ooh. Ooh, doom. Out the gate, wrath of Khan, Star Trek, Genghis Khan, I like that. Out the gate with the punch. You're gonna feel a wrath of Khan, bang, that's one. That's a reference, not really a diss, but that's still okay. A wrath of cars, silly rabbit, you need more than luck. You've got two giant ears, but can't hear that you suck. I drive okay. a mongol horn, your army is weak. <laughs> what? You're going to attack me with a posse of peeps? I'm... That's a weird rhyme pattern. I ain't gonna lie to you. The, pa- the pattern of the rhyme was a bit wonky. Um... And sometimes you think like the impressions sometimes get in the way of the raps, which, you know, it's it's about what you're here for. If you hear more for like the jokey, jokey side, which I'm here for both, you know, but also I, I respect them as lyricists as, and as writers, too. And, and the people who write these, I respect them. So I feel like it could have been delivered a little better, but OK, let's get it. What? You're going to attack me with a posse of thieves? I'll bite off your tail and punch your teeth down your throat. Then punch your family and make a new coat. Okay. So low bloody, you gonna butcher your family and make a new coat. That's what he said. Yo, EB, he said you're gonna butcher your family and make a new coat. See, I feel like here becomes here here lies the issue. Here lies the issue. The Easter bunny doesn't really have doesn't really have negative lore attached to him. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel like maybe if you Googled where it started, because you know all of them, all of them folklores and stuff all started with the craziest <laughs> origin stories. But I don't know, there's just not too much to say about the Easter Bunny, and there's so much more to say about Genghis. I low key feel like the st- cards are stacked against Genghis Khan, but the Easter Bunny ain't quite delivering fully. Like this Genghis Khan, you better, there's a lot of material you could cook them on here. Make an ox skin, you make a new coat. Okay, alright, I feel it. A new coat! Take it easy, baby, no need for this meanness. We should keep it peaceful, homeboy Jesus. I give people check. We should keep it peaceful, homeboy Jesus. This is the dude from uh, The Big Lebowski. Are they all characters from Big Lebowski? Homeboy Jesus? Why am I. Why am I? Don't F with the Jesus. That's from Big Lebowski too, ain't it? Am I bugging? I'm trying to figure out. I missed this one. Homeboy Jesus. And why would Genghis Khan, we should keep it peaceful, homeboy Jesus. Okay, I'm, I'm missing that one. Peaceful, homeboy Jesus. I give people candy. You just like a pillage. Why don't you get out my face and go back to your village? From Pol- Easter Bunny, you dropping the ball right now. You dropping the ball, family. You going against the whole gang is kind. And you even you even in the first round opened it up like you were about to have something. You could have just delved deeper into the stuff you were saying in the first round. You just kind of playing with my man. What was... Stop messing with me and go back to your village? Ugh, nah, nigga, you, I think you losing. How you losing when you going against Genghis Khan and, and you the Easter Bunny, you don't even really have a negative lore attached to your name. I think you lose the Easter Bunny. What the hell? Why is this happening, exactly? 
Why? What happened? Yes, I'm just, oh, come on, bro. All right, let me restart this. This is, it's my luck. It's my luck. We'll get, we'll get right back to where was that. You're right, but don't, don't even trip. Take it easy, baby. No need for this meanness. We should keep it peaceful, hum. Okay. Boy, Jesus, I give people candy. You just like to pillage. Why'd you get on my face and go back to your village? From Poland to Korea, I rabbit the land. Now my DNA's in dudes from New York to Japan. I <clears throat> okay. Tie it in. Bring it home. Tie it into this. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It might be spooky for Easter Bunny. Easter, my ass. You're not in the Bible. You're a fluffy bitch mascot for Hallmark and denial. Oh no! <laughs> Don Demarco, bang bang. It's like that. Like that. It's like that. Shit like that. Don Demarco. Listen, Easter Bunny, you wildin', you got your, you're getting your boost cooked right now. You went against Genghis Khan, and it's almost like he was playing with you with the first two rounds, and then all of a sudden, because I was almost like, I'm trying to think of the lore of the Easter Bunny, but no, you are right, it is, that, that you can go ahead and attack this angle real well, and it's about to be over. He said, you're not in the Bible, you just a mascot for a greedy company, he said, oh, nigga, no, you done, Easter Bunny. You're not in the Bible. You're a fluffy bitch mascot for Hallmark and Denial. Ah, Who's there? Nigga, that was like a load of Lux third, bro. Dude, was that there. ending? Epic. Yo, Easter Bunny. You got cooked, my G. Listen, and I'm very disappointed in the Easter Bunny because you was going against uh, 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 one of the most evil men in history. You had all the ammunition for my son. You had all of it. And, she, and you are a fictional character that's made to bring joy to children. And somehow you let this come at the third round and have me looking at Easter different. You got me looking at what? Looking at the, your, your whole holiday different. Like, yeah, you're right. You. You do kind of just want to piggyback over a little. You ain't really even in the butt. You just know what, what? That was after the fact. We just made it up the name. I know like, the, okay, huh? Ain't no bunny in the, he said, ain't no Easter bunny in the butt. <laughs> so this homework, baby. <laughs> yeah, you got smoke. He, he eating rabbit stew. It's uh, rabbit season. No duck season. <laughs> no Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Put in the comment section, what's the next ERB you want me to do? Eventually, I'm going to do them all. And, uh, yeah, I love y'all. Stay very closely tuned to this channel. Tomorrow, I'm dropping my four, third single of the year with Mercules. Tune in. It's called Fire. It will be dropping at 11 p.m. Eastern. I love you. We out.